What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Going to break down this Cat Stevens song. If you want to sing out, sing out. Uh, I've said in other videos, but Cat Stevens, uh, Yusuf Cat Stevens, huge shout out to him. Uh, you know, it was just someone I listened to so much growing up and when I was learning guitar as well. It was a huge inspiration, just his tunes and music. So I always throw that out there when I'm getting to teach uh, songs from some of my, you know, my own influences. So this is one of them. Uh, anyway... Let's break it down. All right, so the intro starts with these really pretty versions of C, G, and F. So it's like a C bar chord. It's kind of the what you can visualize, but it's 10th fret D, 9th on the G, 8th on the B, but then open high E. And we're going to do that shape right there. Then we're going to go down to where it would be a G major. And that high E rings out. And then down to F where be that first fret so and then back up to G so watch nice and pretty but also very easy and then instead of going up to want to sing out you, instead of going it's going to be fuller to play a, a full G chord. And I'm going to be playing G with ring, middle, and pinky on this song because of the... All the, the Cs, Fs, and Gs are all right in this hand position. So you go... Well, if you C, C, G to F, and we're going to play F this way... So really, you don't have to worry about the two low strings. We're going to play three on the D, two, one, and then grab that third fret high E. Back to that G. So watch. C, C, G, two, F, G, C, C, G. There's a quick little G in between. So. So the next time, instead of F, it's A minor. So C, G, F, G, C, G, A minor. I love this chord progression too, by the way. Then another really nice little set. I like it because it's simple but beautiful. Uh, D minor, right, D minor. Sometimes I play it like that. A minor this way again because so there's going to be some sus sussy little things going on here and it's two guitar parts breaking it up So I think you want to go, let's do it from the top of the vocals, C, G, F, G, C, G, A minor, D minor, A minor, G, C, sus, G, D, da, 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 da. C, G, F, G, C, G, A minor. D minor, A minor, G, G sus, G, uh, and then a hit on the G. So all you're doing is you're adding the second fret, you're holding the G grip, and then you're adding. And that's adding the first fret on the B string. It's like adding two parts of a C chord while you're holding the G down. So it's 2nd fret D and 1st fret B.
second time. Find it. Let's go back. Um, you've got the next part. So the riff is. Da, da, da. On the third fret, low E. Open A. to third fret. But when you hit that third fret, you want to form a C chord. You can do what you F lick. G, opportunity C lick. C, if you find a new F. So that one's a little tricky. So it's just all alternating with that little lick in between. So from um, C, F, lick, G, C, lick. part C A minor E minor A minor C C E minor So it's just a you can go a little bit of the open three times E minor only E minor All right, let's speed it up. Here we go. C, G, F, G, C, G, A minor, D minor, A minor, G, sus, the G. And C, G, F, G, C, G, A minor, D minor, A minor, G, C, G, sus. Just repeats.
All right, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Feel free to request stuff in the comments below. And of course, while you're down there, I appreciate you subscribing to the channel and um, you know checking the links for extra bonuses as well. Thanks again. We'll see you later.